class programming. The first one I would like to tell about the objective of relation. In this chapter, you will learn about how to control structure and what is the control structure mean. And number two, we need to examine it lets you know the logical operators, but in this relation operator, we just study in uh, chapter three already. One more thing, if you need to explore how to form the evaluate logical Boolean expression. And number four, we need to discover how to use the selection control structure if or if l and sweet function. Okay. And the last one is the how learn to use the assert function to determine this program. Okay. Okay. Let me show about the control structure basics. The computer can process like the sequence, selectively, brand, making a choice, repeat, uh, repeatedly, interactively, or looping. Actually, looping here, maybe all of you know about loop, right? We have loop 4, loop 1, and do 1. One more thing we need to uh, some uh, statement are uh, existed only at uh, certain condition are uh, made. And the last is the the condition to meet its evaluate to true. Okay. This part I want to show you about the structure of control structure. Like the first one we have a statement one, right? Like statement two, we do until statement n. And we just like sequence. Okay. One more thing is that like we have what we have a uh, input and we have condition or we can say expression we have a uh, true or fail right is the number is true we go to the right side but if like the number is not correct or not true is go to the left side is fails and then we just print the output okay like other expression we have uh, expression and then if you go to true we can go to the statement <clears throat> but sometimes it's the your expression it fail we just go down and finish the loop in this part we can say relational operator like this side we can say equal for this side if we can write in the in computer we need to equal to time we can say equal to and this time you call uh, exclamation equal if not equal to this time we can say e exclamation equal it means that not equal to and this one is the left then and this one is the left then equal and this one is more than or we can say greater than and this time we can say uh, greater than or equal to okay let I show you some example about relational operator and simple data types you can use the relational operator with all three simple data types like age less than 15. Evaluate is true. Yes, we know already about the, the number is a Actually, it's less than 15. The evaluate is true. And more than is the six exclamation equals six. This is not correct. Actually, it's six equals six. It's not six exclamation equals six. You see, this statement is fair, is correct. One more thing is a 2.5. Actually, 2.5 is less than 5.8. But in this statement, it said that 2.5 is more than 5.8. This statement is not true, just fail. One more is 5.9, less than equal 7.5. This is the true of statement. Okay, now we will compare about the character like this sign, A. It's true, right? And all and T if fail, we can say the AFC value of a uh, design is 32 and the AFC value of A is 97. Because 32 if less than 97, this is correct. This is a true statement. So A is true. Okay. We can see, you can see the comparison of character. And then we move to the slide. This slide, <coughs> I want to show you about the logical boolean operator and logical expression, okay? True, actually, non-zero is fail, zero. It's been like exclamation here. Fail, zero, it's been true, one. We can say, the, uh, how to say, it's not an operator. It's just like the sign, the special expression, okay? One more sign is the true, non-zero, 
expression 1 and expression 2 is a true non zero true 1 okay full set of like full non zero full zero 2 okay one more thing is the we can say uh, the expression 1, expression 2, expression 2, th this one is true non zero, true 1, true 1, and true 1, 2. We just like simple, uh, we can say like the opposite with the, the sign. Okay, this one I will show you about the order of precedent. Precedent here is we would like to focus on like the exclamation sign at minus, or we can say an operator. We can say the first. One more thing is the this sign we can say uh, asterisk, sorry, asterisk and uh, slash or forward slash or percent tag. We can say the second. One more thing is the plus or minus is third, and this one is the left than left than equal, more than equal or more than. Okay. And this time we can say equal or exclamation not exclamation equal, and this one equal uh, the sign is the n okay six seven and last. This one is the precedent of like how to say first second third four, uh, four fifth six seven and last. Like the processor that working on the programming we just working from this sign first from this sign and the operator until the last. Sign. Okay, let's. I show you some example. Suppose you have the following exclamation: bool found equal true, <coughs> bool flat equal false, and integer number equal one. Or we can uh, put the double H equal five point two, double Y equal three point four, and integer n equal twenty, and character C A equal B. So this is example I also show you about already about in lesson four. We need to know we need to set the variable by uh, like for the integer number which one you need to use. Now uh, example like decimal number or uh, character number which integer you need to use. Okay. This is the condition of a uh, precedent you can see in your slide. Okay. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> this one I want to show you about the selection if and if l. Which one is different between if and if l? Okay, one way we need to one way selection. One more thing is the two way selection, and that is compound block of statement, and that is multiply selection need if comparing if and l statement with a series if say statement. Okay, basically like. Uh, Using procedure code to develop tests and uh, do this the program, it put the failure at the if statement. Like you need to confusing between the equality operator, like equal or assignment operators, condition conditional operator question mark. Okay. One way selection here, the syntax of one way selection is the if expression and then statement. The statement is exclusive if the value of the expression is true. One more is the statement is bypass if the value is fail. Program go to the next statement. If the reserve word. This is the structure of the one way selection. If we have uh, input the value here, we go to expression and then we need to uh, separate if your, if your value is true, <coughs> like uh, to uh, more than one, we go to true and then uh, you go to statement and then need to code the result here. But if your value is less than example like two, uh, less than one is not correct. So your your output will go to the file and then go to print the output or we can say code the output. Okay. One way selection here example like if score more than equal six. Great is P. It is P is mid pass. In this code, the expression score more than equal CT, the evaluate is true. The assignment state mean great equal P. Executed is the comparison value of to fail. The statement is any following the if structure executed 
For example, if the value of score is 65, the value assigned to forward regret is P. It means like more than equal P, sorry, more than equal 60 apps, you will pass. P means pass. Okay. This program is uh, described about the number like absolute number. Example like uh, we have the number minus 6, 7, 34. So what is the absolute number of minus 6, 7, 34 is? Normally we all know already about like this is the negative number, right? If we move to the absolute value, we can see 6, 7, 34 value, okay? Like by uh, C++ programming here, we can use uh, has include IO stream then we have using namespace follow this code okay and I show you some uh, coding of this code this first one we go to a build project first and then uh, we can choose the CC++ application here the same and then we can say uh, we can choose the name here is the absolute number absolute number absolute okay then we go to finish here. After that, we can go to soft file and click main.cpp here. And then we write the code follow evaluation. We have, uh, we can delete all these points. We, are to, we go to a hash, include IO stream. One more thing is the using name spf ftd semicolon. If you want to zoom your text, you can go to uh, view and then choose the zoom in text. Will be uh, uh, zoom now. Okay, zoom in text. Okay, you see the big now. Names by here we can uh, not need to uh, and then we have int main if we follow the slide int main one more thing is the we need to design is we can say angle bracket uh, int number and then we have a uh, tem or up to you we can choose other variable and then we need to code uh, launch one okay enter enter an integer and then we need to have a uh, semicolon don't forget and then send send the number because the number is the line one here and then don't forget the semicolon and then code we can say a uh, code we follow the our slide code in okay and then we see we write the formula term a here equal numbers so the number equal term and semicolon one more thing you need to uh, choose condition from our relation control structure if number here if less than zero the number equal minus number understand this is the condition of like we need to check the number in absolute if the number equal minus number equal numbers and then have semicolon one more thing if you need to code code the uh, line want line one Okay, line, line 1 and then uh, the app you can write up to you the absolute the absolute uh, value of okay T E M P and then we have uh, design uh, we can enter sorry uh, term here is one uh, you can say Oh my god, wait please.
example like I have uh, I need to enter some points and here is the if this and then numbers oh this one is to write a term and then it's is and then uh, we can write this sign we need to uh, put it there in term here no need to put this sign because it's not important okay one more thing is the we need to go to write uh, the numbers number right and then in and then semicolon but we finish we need then forget what return zero here right and semicolon okay and this part uh, one more we can uh, run this code by uh, C++ here let me check together this is the absolute number for example point you can learn from this code and you can put other number it's not like this number example here <coughs> I choose one number is the oh sorry it's not correct when we see the time oh which one is not correct you can check to the wiki we say that uh, the launch one absolute will look as what expression line save okay in this way we don't need to write up okay off okay it's sign and then term here oh I forgot this sign okay one more need to run again so in C++ programming sometimes like if you wrong in coding something it's not correct it will show you the problem or about the uh, okay this one is correct now I think okay let me check together example I have one value is the 6 7 and uh, 34 just enter here okay the absolute of uh, minus 6 7 34 equals 6 7 34 is it the correct okay I think you can uh, you can try by your shell this is important example like I have one other value like I have uh, Uh, minus six three one two one enter here the absolute of the number minus six three fifty one is the six three twenty one that is correct number thanks for your watching my video hope to see you in this video thanks